Hey guys, it's Monica and welcome back to Fat Girl Food. Today we're going to be doing a really cool video where I'm going to be trying out all these different Sour Patch flavored food. So before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you like these kind of videos, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave any comments you have below. So pretty much I was inspired to do this video because I was walking down the aisle and I saw these first. Um, and then just walking around the store, I saw all these different types of Sour Patch flavored foods. And so they also have Sour Patch cereal, which the store didn't have. And then they have Gogurt Sour Patch, which sounds like that is just going to make you completely sick. And we already have Sour Patch ice cream, which I'm sure is going to be interesting. So we're just going to leave it to these. Um, so yeah, let's do a taste test and see how these taste. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with the OG Sour Patch Kids. Um, I was just looking at these and trying to figure out, does anyone know what the flavors of these are? Wes? There's no flavors on these. I just thought about, like, literally, that's what I was just thinking about. Um, and then I have the Sour Patch Kids Extremes, which is also not something that I knew they made, but... Walking down the aisles in Walmart, you will discover where things like this. So both these are only a dollar. So we're going to use these as our um, control sample, if you may. So we're just going to open these and taste these, even though I know what Sour Patch Kids tastes like. But just for GP. Um, my favorite Sour Patch Kids is the red one. I'm not sure what flavor it is, but it's the red one. And I like going to Five Below, where you can get them individually. And I like to get all red or blue. Wow, look at all the blue in this one. <laughs> That's a lot of blue ones. Okay, so I got some handy dandy water and my handy dandy personalized cup. Link below if you're interested in any of my customized products that I make. Um, so yeah, let's just go in. You want some? Okay, so I'm gonna eat a blue one. Yep. Sour Patch Kids. I don't know what the flavor is of the red one. It's cherry. Strawberry. I don't know. All right. Let's move on to the Sour Patch Kids Extreme. Like I said, I've never even heard of these. Oh, and just so everyone knows, these are a fat-free food. So, let's open up these. Yeah. Oh, look at these colors. Ooh, they're like these pretty tropical colors. Like, they look like Starburst. Oh, wow, this pack really looks like a pack of Starburst. You have like the pink, the orange, like a yellowish. Oh, that's pretty cool, okay. So, I'm wondering, are these so... This is a comparison. These are the extreme sours and these are the regular sours. So you can kind of see some differentiation in the colors there. And once again, these do not have flavor names. So we shall guess. All right, I'm gonna go with the blue one again. Okay. So in my opinion, these are way softer than them. Them might be kind of old. I said they don't expire until 20, November 2020, but these ones are much softer, but they're not more sour. I don't know what flavor this one is. It's a pretty green color though. You want to try some? What color you want? Green. This one? Okay. They're not significantly sour, more sour than to me. They're softer. Yeah. Pretty good though. Yeah, I like these actually. These are actually pretty good. But no, I don't. These aren't extremely sour. But I appreciate that. And they're definitely different flavors than the original. These are pretty good. Mm. Well, I'm not worried. All right. So we're gonna set these to the side and we're gonna move on to the marshmallows. Okay, so next we're gonna do the marshmallow. I was just looking down at the packaging and there are actually flavors on this one, such as 
five flavors. Blue raspberry, red berry. I was somewhere between cherry, strawberry, and I didn't know. I guess that flavor is called red berry, orange, lime, and lemon. So those are the flavors. And the flavors are also back here on the back. So these are sour coated marshmallows that are actually made by a company called Frankfurt. I thought these were made by Jet Puff, but they're not. These are made by a company called Frankfurt. Um, choking hazard, not for children, number four. And these are great for decorating. So they have a picture, oh, it's right on the front, where there is a giant Sour Patch marshmallow and a cupcake. So if that's something you're interested in, these can do that for you. Okay, so let's open up these and see. Now, Wes, you already tried these. Wes is behind the camera in case anybody's wondering. Um, do you have an opinion on them? Nope. No. He has no opinion on them. I'm going to use scissors to open it because I don't want these to like, go everywhere. Is there, oh, like even like the, the sugary smell that comes when you like right open the bag? They're not sour. They're not sour? Okay. But they're sour coated. I think they, they're saying anytime, I feel like anytime they put citric acid in something, they're gonna call it sour, because it gives that effect. This is malic acid, okay. So, any color I should pick? I've been sticking with the blue. I don't think I got a blue one in here. I got cheated. Well, there's right a orange one right at the top. So this is orange flavored. Um, you can see like the size of it. It's pretty large, just a couple of inches. So, a little Sour Patch Man. So let's just try it. There's a sour on it. I've never heard of Frankfurt marshmallows, but these ain't no Jet Puff. The marshmallow is the nasty part. Isn't that a good marshmallow? And I don't think it's because of the sour patch kids. I think it's because it's just a nasty marshmallow. Because I like the coating on the outside, but the marshmallow itself is not the best. Um, I really want like a blue one. I really don't think I have a blue one. What are the other flavors? I can't differentiate between, I'm going to have to open it all the way up. I can't differentiate between a red and an orange. Oh, that one was red. This one is orange. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, is that a blue one down in the corner? Yep, I got one, exactly one blue one in my bag. So, all right, let's see how this one tastes. You got a little bit, taste the differences in the flavor, but they're not sour. They're just sweet. They got a little bit of sour, but that honestly, that's just a really nasty marshmallow. It's not the coating. It's the marshmallow. I'm sorry, but these are bad marshmallows. All right, so the next thing we're going to try is the Sour Patch Kids ice cream. Um, they describe this as a vanilla light ice cream and lemon sorbet with a red berry swirl and original Sour Patch Kids bites. Um, to me, that sounds interesting. I hope this doesn't make my stomach hurt. I don't know what to think, but we're going to try it. Um, they say it's a light ice cream and it's sour than sweet treat, just like the, the actual Sour Patch Kids. So, let's give this a go. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. So you can definitely see the red berry swirl and it's a lemon sorbet and wait, it's a lemon sorbet and a light vanilla ice cream. Are the vanilla sorbet and the light vanilla ice cream like all the white area? Oh, this might get interesting. Okay, so I'm just going to grab one of my Starbucks cups and I'm going to just scoop some out. So I guess let's do it like Waka Flocka, right? 
So it's only been out the freezer maybe about five minutes. It's pretty soft. Um, do I need to scoop more than that? <laughs> okay, so I can like see the Sour Patch Kids pieces. Um, I see like an orange and a red piece. All right, I'm just gonna take some of this off the spoon. I don't know, I'm sorry. They could have left the pieces out because they're like, that orange piece was like soft and mushy and gelatinous and it was really nasty, but. It's not bad. Um, it's not bad. I get the lemon sorbet. It's definitely sour. I don't really get light vanilla ice cream, but I get more of a lemon sorbet with like whatever this swirl is in it. Um, yeah. And like, the Star Crash Kid, I don't know. I could have left those pieces out because like it gives it a weird when you when you have them in your mouth it gives it a really weird texture and I don't I don't like the texture the actual sour, sour crash cakes gives it I feel like if they would have left them out this would have been halfway decent but wow. that was a really big piece they just didn't and like that tasted like a damn Twizzler and they didn't need to keep that in well it's not bad if there's someone who likes really sweet sorbets, I think you would like this. And like all the sugar in it, kind of gives it like a little bit of a bite too, so that's kind of nice. But yeah, leave out the Sour Patch Kids pieces. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do now is the freeze pops, ice pops, frozen ice pops to be exact. The reason that I picked these to go last because I'm hoping they're gonna serve as like a palate cleanser from the ice cream I just ate. Um, and so weirdly enough, again, the flavors are on this box. Lemon, lime, orange, blue raspberry, red, and red berry, but they don't actually put them on the Sour Patch Kids. Are people just supposed to know that? Anyways, okay, so there's 16 in here. There's five flavors, but there's 16 pops. So. There's gonna be a pop you have three of, two, four of instead of three. All right, let's crack it over. So these are gluten-free, peanut-free, and dairy-free. And these ones are manufactured by J&J &J Snack Foods. So we have J&J &J Snack Foods, Frankfurt, and whoever makes the original ones, Mondelez. So they're just, they're giving out the recipe to everybody. Alright, so these are only 40 calories per ice pop, in case you were wondering. And I see lots of blue and green and all that. So these are much smaller than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be like double the size of this, but I guess I played myself. Um, you want one? No? How many should I try? Okay, so let's just sticking with the blue thing. So we're gonna try this. These are these are much smaller than I thought they were gonna be. This reminds me of, y'all know the uh, the icy branded push pops you can get and they have like that alum like little piece of aluminum that covers them but they're like in a push and you can push it up like a frozen push up. And that's what this flavor reminds me of. 
it's just a sour popsicle. I'm kind of interested like, oh, well, no, that's what the picture looks like. Because you see how there's like color differentiation in the pop, but the box actually has it having color differentiation. So, okay, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. I know exactly what this is. It's that icy branded push pop. I ate so many of those as a child, I know. This isn't a unique formula at all. Feeling pretty good. I'll eat the rest of them. Okay. I'm gonna eat that later, but I'm gonna try this one too. But yeah, that's exactly what that's exactly what this formula is. And if you never had those, if you ever had the Luigi's in the cup, but like you let it maybe sit out for like three minutes, the Luigi's Italian ice. If you've ever had the Luigi's Italian ice that comes in the cup and you let it sit out for like two, three minutes before you eat it, and then like you bite it and you get like that crunchy icy bite, and that's what this formula of around here. This one's good too. But like this one doesn't taste like, like this one tastes like the blue sour patch a little bit. This one doesn't taste anything at all like the red one. Tell you the truth, none of the flavor is consistent across this stuff. I forgot what the formula is. What a nice 70 degree Colorado day. Alright, let's wrap it up! So, we have tried and conquered all of the Sour Patch Kids stuff I could buy at the store. The exception, like I said, is the Gogurt and Cereal. And my thoughts are this. Um, these extremely delicious by these old classic what we know and love if you like these already there's nothing wrong with them um these marshmallows like me and my husband were discussing we're not really sure what you do with these besides just eat them and if that's something you're into cool but like i said the marshmallow itself um is nasty no shade to frankfurt food but the marshmallow itself is a oop, is a pass so for me, that makes the marshmallow overall a pass. This ice cream, another hard pass is just, like I said, if you like sour sorbet, sweet, lemony, with the weird gelatinous textured something in it, this is for you. I'll stick to Bluebell, cause this ain't it. And the ice pops, I think are pretty, actually pretty good. I buy these again. Um, they have good flavor, good texture. I think it'd be a nice little treat on a on a nice warm day or hot day um and yeah those are my thoughts so buy it if you want don't buy it if you want i hope i save someone some time some money and some uh curiousness about the sour patch kid line of products there's gonna be like i see there's gonna be like a lot of different weird stuff coming out soon and i heard duncan Ruth supposed to be coming back too they actually have an instagram page you should follow them um, but you should follow me too, at Food one on Instagram. Like I said, if you like these kind of videos, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications. If you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, please leave them below. And I will see you guys in the next one.